In recent times, the technology scene in Africa has been seeing a lot of foreign and local players who are doing their bit to boost it. Well, some of the major players understand that the tech sector is moving quickly and it can be highly profitable for investment. Although the pace of change in the field of artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, renewable energy and the likes can make it a bit difficult for investors to keep up. New technologies continue to get more sophisticated, pushing investments to compromise where valuations make sense. Well, joining us now to talk about it is Maya uh, Horgan Famodou, founder of the Ingressive and Ingressive Capital. Welcome to the program. Thank you. How much investment do you think is going into the continent and especially Nigeria's tech space? So there was a 51.1% increase in the amount of venture capital do dollars flowing into sub-Saharan Africa last year alone. Uh, the numbers are in the hundreds of millions as far as venture capital coming in, but we're seeing this amount rapidly growing. So I see uh, near a billion dollars in the next few years alone. Uh, also, we're seeing not just an increase in venture, cap or, uh, in venture dollars coming into the ecosystem, but also acquisition. So international firms who either want to take stake in Africa-based businesses or want to start catering to the fast-growing youth populations and fast-growing consumer populations. As a country, do you think we have the capabilities to, to drive value from our existing system? Um, yes, uh, I see there's in Nigeria alone, if we're talking specifically about Nigeria, there's 200 million people in this country. There's 20 million Lagos in one city alone. So as far as and you have, you know, 70% of the population under the age of 35, you have the fastest growing consumer classes in the world. So just as far as building products catering to the Nigerian consumer, it's it's non competitive. It's, it's incredibly it's what Asia was. 10 years, 20 years back. In addition to this, we're seeing the rates of technology penetration. So not just mobile, not just internet, but different products like cryptocurrency. So Nigeria had the second highest rate of peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin tra transactions in the world, only second to China, 1,500% increase last year. So you're seeing as technology companies come in and new technology products are released, it rapidly takes off in the Nigeria market specifically. So it's a great market, but do Africans realize the potential? Yes, yes, I would say so. I mean, you look across sub-Saharan Africa and the launch of M-Pesa, which is now transacting, what, a fourth of Kenya's GDP at large. Uh, you look at Nigeria and some of the fast-growing technology companies. You had InterSwitch, Iroko, you have Flutterwave, Paystack, Tizetti. Uh, yes, so, so not only do you have this large population, fast-growing consumer consumer classes, you also have a lot of opportunities for innovation. It's not necessarily the most radically disruptive technology that we're seeing. It's just key solutions focused on infrastructural issues that have a little bit of technology overlay in a way that's never been done before. What are your thoughts on the argument that the tech ecosystem in Nigeria, because government is not majorly involved and there isn't a sustainable system where students and tech companies can collaborate? I'm, I don't agree with the latter, uh, but as far as government involvement, um, <laughs> I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to leave the technology sector to the private, uh, the, the the private sector, to, to leaving technology to the private sector. Um, the innovation that we've seen happen thus far uh, has come basically entirely from the private sector, whether it's uh, internet, the per pervasion of internet, whether it's the um, pervasion of mobile devices and the, the, the infrastructure that technology lays. And, and secondly, going back to your point about students and technology, um, some of the programs that we actually have, uh, we have a, we have a um, training program that sponsors computer science departments at every major university in Nigeria. Um, the students and their trainings and the webinars they do and their access to technical trainings. So in order to build that pipeline, that's something that we're actually focused on as, as well as a number of other organizations. And the engineering, computer science design programs at major universities, we see them popping up more and more every year. Oh. So there is a connect. Hackathons are happening. CodeFest just happened last, last week. All right, we'd like to thank you so much, Maya Hogan, Famodou, founder of Ingressive and Ingressive Capital, for coming on the program. Yes, thank you.